Morning, even afternoon, we got a bagger for y'all today, baby. Got another reaction video from Michael Reeves here. I'm gonna put his YouTube in the description. I, he, this dude is hilarious. I, I recently started watching his videos and I tell you what, they're nothing short of comedy. This is called the boring video, but I gotta be honest, this was awesome. I'm sure y'all gonna love it. And when you do, leave a like on this, hit the sub button. Most importantly, be sure to tell somebody you love them. All right, I'll catch you on the next one. Got another reaction video here from Michael Reeves. Whip said this is called a boring video. That's the name of the video. And Whip's just said it's hilarious. So Michael Reeves, we reacted to some of his stuff here. Great videos. If you haven't checked them out, I'll be sure to have the editing team and or Whip's put his YouTube in the description, but I'm sure a lot of you know who he is. So uh, let's get into it. It's 4 a.m. We're going to TwitchCon, baby. TwitchCon, eh? Oh, this supposed to be like plastic? That's what people do when they're camping. They sink out of the sack of water. So I'm going to TwitchCon to review my experience. It's taking place down in San Diego. The plan was to just drive down this way, but uh-oh, there's a car crash. Looks like I have to go all the way around and then camp out in this sick desert so I can get to San Diego that way. To, you know, to review TwitchCon. Michael, why do you own a salvage title rundown piece of pickup truck from the city of Los Angeles? Um, because it's swag, first of all. Five times cheaper than a normal truck. And the most important, I make too much trash at my house, I put it in this truck and then put on a high-vis vest and drive around the place where I live until I find places with dumpsters and dump the trash and people just assume that I, I work for the county. It's kind of, of uh, it's kind of big brain. You. you have a high-vis jacket and the white truck with the light on top. So where are we going? To TwitchCon. We're going to, uh, we're going to TwitchCon. This was TwitchCon 2022, it said. Well, this is a fun, quirky story conflict. I came back from and the truck was doing some of its own. I think it's leaking coolant. Not really a car person, but I want to say that the coolant thing should have coolant inside of it. Some water in there just to get me to and mechanic store. Water is cold sometimes, so that's pretty much coolant. Damn, yes, sir. Come on, you can make it. You can make it. <laughs> you can make it. Let's go! Huh. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Yeah, I, I was gonna, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, the theory is there, right? Water is cold, so it, you know, I get it. Hmm. Luckily, it didn't matter because the engine was so hot that in the five minutes it took me to drive to the store, it already burned away all the water. So, you know, small miracles. Back to driving to the desert. And it was actually a really nice drive. It was blue skies, good day. Made the perfect place for the truck to overheat on the side of the road. I was gonna well, say, bro, good. if that thing's I'm leaking, sure you gotta bring bad. that to a- sure That's a uh... bad thing. Okay. No, no. Listen to this. Good, so good. This coolant pipe was leaking everywhere. How do we fix that? I don't know. Cool, yeah, so I just took it off. <laughs> so I just took it off and put it back on and hope that it worked. I might need a funnel. Nah, that's that's pretty good. Ah, fuck. We'll drive it for a while and then we'll open it back up and see. Yeah, I got No piss, we got... Yo! Oh my god, it's full! I'm so, I'm so happy. Let's go to the desert. But now you're probably wondering, why are you really I, going Bro, to this is the, like, this is the second time I've seen Michael in like a car video, and for him not knowing much about cars, like he's really good at fixing it. This is just like a genius or something. And honestly, I had to get to TwitchCon. I don't need an ulterior motive to do any of this. Anyways, my ulterior motive is because of Nystat. No, not that Nystat, his brother Van Nystat. He has a YouTube channel, and his videos are pretty fucking weird, but they're also really good. And he has this one video called called Should I Get a Motorcycle? And I thought, hey, I should get a motorcycle. And now I have a motorcycle. And I thought it would be really fun to ride around in this desert. And that's it, it's just for fun. Not everything has to be a fucking life lesson. Anyway, we're here. Yes, this is what I came all this way for. God, yes, bathroom. I need a map. I meant like a one I could hold. <laughs> that's pretty easy. Right now I am here, and I am trying to get to here. Fuck, God. Okay, I'll just turn right onto the road that it wants me to go onto, and... It's a pretty epic truck, but I don't think it can do sand. Or can they? Ah, no, I would definitely get stuck. Okay, I can't park here, so I'm gonna go up this road and find a place to Damn, park. Damn, the foot this control is, is kind of crazy with that, bro. Kind of road. And this doesn't look like a road. It really doesn't look like a What the fuck is that? What is that? It's just rocks. That's not road. And so I spent the next hour looking around the desert for a campsite. It kind of feels like I'm playing Borderlands, but nothing's funny. Hey dude, listen up. Don't die in the desert. I think this is good. It's a campground. Uh, I don't see a single other person. At this point, I just wanted to ride around anywhere because half the day was gone. So I took the bike down using these wooden steps that I made because I have minion legs. And then I was ready to go. Come on, let's fucking go! Ah, 
I'm fucking stupid. Ah, now I know. I look professional, but this is actually my first time going into the desert, believe it or not. So it's a learning experience for us all. More more just me. Mostly me, because I was there. And here's something I learned. Ah, sand is really hard. Ah, ah. I also learned that I was lost. Realistically, three minutes since I got on the dirt trail and I, I don't really know where I am. But eventually I pressed on. Didn't figure out where I was, just got tired of looking at the map. I knew True. it was the right direction after a while because the terrain started looking like this. Oh my God, it's all fucking rocks. Oh my God, it's all fucking sand. But with no other choice, I just kept going and doing desert things like climbing rocks and screaming. Yahoo! You know, desert things. Speaking of desert things, sand. Okay, I'm a sand. Oh, I was gonna say I'm a sand whisperer. Oh, uh, what the fuck? Yeah, you know, riding a bike. Like I have no idea what I'm doing. And if you do like a, you know, I mean, I'm sure like a like a side by side or something would drive a lot easier in that than like a bike. Because I don't. I fucking suck at this. The sand is way harder to ride in than I thought it would be. But hey, it's fun. I I think. Oh shit. Oh, oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> That's what I get. That's what I get. Fuck the bikes on my leg. Oh God, I'm gonna have to cut it off. <laughs> I think I can get out of this though. I'm gonna turn around. Hey. Oh. I was feeling pretty silly after that crash, so I stopped here to eat and take in the view. All right, fuck this. And then immediately turn around, cause I'm an hour and a half away from my campsite and the sun was getting pretty low. And then for my next trick, I got the bike stuck. It's actually so stuck that it stands up on its own, so. Back. Okay. This is sand. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta hand it to him. I would never do this. Like, the confidence he has well, in himself. I was to get it out. I noticed this on my phone. It's a emergency dust storm alert for the area. You know, pull over, visibility zero, don't die and all that. That sucks. It said to pull over, but I'm not on a road, so I'm pretty sure it doesn't apply to me. Anyways, I got the bike unstuck and I was on my way. Woo! Baby, yeah! You know, it wasn't the longest adventure ever, but I had a lot of fun. I got to see some cool stuff, and it's about time that I headed back so that I could go to TwitchCon. Why? Why always when I celebrate? Oh! Oh, no! Oh, shit. Oh, Wait. no, this is the dust storm. Oh, my fucking God! Shit, okay, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Fuck <laughs> this! Oh, fuck this! You literally got Who stuck in a dust coming? storm, bro. No one, no one could have seen this coming. <laughs> But there's another problem. This area is called a wash. It's where water flows out of the hills when it rains. The water cuts these paths in the ground and they go all over the place. It doesn't look that confusing from up here. This is a Google Earth picture that I cropped to hide the watermark. But when you're on the ground and it's dark and there's fucking sand in the air, it's way harder to see where you're going. So at some point I went the wrong way. I don't know where, but I went the wrong way. And the trail started looking less and less and less like a trail. Go back, go back. And to make matters worse, I discovered that sand isn't really sand, but tasty little rocks that you can breathe and eat. Mmm, yummy, yummy, and my little tummy, they taste so good. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, but it, it was getting pretty hard to breathe. I'm gonna put a fucking dust mask on, and by dust mask, I mean a shirt. So I had to stop and wrap a t-shirt around my face so I wouldn't breathe any more yummy rocks. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. It's this way, I think. And yeah, I think I found it. That looks like the trail. But not for long, that doesn't look anything like the fucking trail. Dude. Oh, there it is. But I feel like this scary music's gonna come back. I couldn't find the fucking trail, okay? This one I was on just ended. I didn't even turn around this time. Just kept going towards where I thought the road was. Which is definitely not what you're supposed to do in this situation. I'm not sure what you are supposed to do, but it's definitely not this. And I had no idea where I was. I was just riding around hoping to find something which makes this next part really boring. So I'm gonna put some Minecraft parkour video on the screen to keep your attention. Look at that, a subway surfers. Ooh, and I'll go to Reddit and read the top <laughs> post of today. Am I the asshole for kicking my dog in the head? And then I'll post it on TikTok, and then I'll post that on YouTube Shorts, and then I'll post that Shorts talk on my Instagram. Oh wow, is that the road? Yeah! Yeah! Ah! Fuck you, dust storm! And I felt pretty relieved. <laughs> What happened is I saw these power lines way off in the distance, and those are usually near civilization. So I just went towards them until I found the road, and then I was free. Smart. <laughs> I would have gotten lost AF out there. I think for dinner tonight, I will make scrambled eggs 
and spam. Look at how good this looks. It's like fried rice. Good night. <laughs> Good morning. I had a nightmare that someone was walking around my tent at night, so I'm probably gonna have to deduct points from TwitchCon for that. But other than that, it was pretty good. And uh, let's get all get packed up and we'll head to TwitchCon. I can't believe he just Not did that. Not much happened on the 100 himself, mile drive dude, from the desert to legend. San Diego. I had a lot of time to think about how fun it had been so far and how I wished I could have stayed a little bit longer. But as I rolled into town, I was overcome with optimism. You see, I'd lost track of why I came down to San Diego in the first place. And so I was excited to finally get started on my review of TwitchCon. Four out of 10. It's all right. I was literally about to say, is that a whole nother video? <laughs> Dude, I gotta give him credit. I, dude, I would have gotten lost AF out there. No way. I would have panicked too. It's crazy, bro. That's crazy.